Hey guys, welcome back. Dr. T, living your best life here in the Philippines. Thought I'd do something a little different. Just kind of walking around. I'm out at my condo. I am back in Mocktown, Newtown right now. Just got back from Bohol uh, yesterday, actually. It's my little porch area. Just kind of show you around the, the view over here. But I'm going to talk about a topic. Um, seems to be pretty popular amongst foreigners, expats, is the difference in dating, let's say, a province-type girl versus a city girl. And I'm going to use Cebu, for example, just because that's where I'm at right now, and that's a real popular destination as well. So the easiest way to think about this for me as an American, I'm sure you can relate if you're in other countries, is think about it. It's like the difference between country versus city. So in America, let's say New York City versus, uh, let's say rural Texas or Oklahoma, for example, right? Those two people are very different. Very different. Someone, a girl that grows up in New York City, for example, is probably going to be very liberal, very materialistic, um, very much into the nightlife and social scene and uh, fancy things and all those types of things, right? We all know the, the type that I'm talking about. And then you contrast that with someone who maybe grew up in the country, right, and had a little more uh, simple upbringing, more traditional type family, etc. Very different types of people. And it's the same way here in the Philippines, with some exceptions. So, and I get this, I get this, we'll call it data. <laughs> I'm kind of a research nerd. Uh, actually, I'm a real doctor, a PhD doctor, not a medical doctor, but a PhD doctor. So, um, we'll call it data for what it's worth. But I've talked to so many different foreigners people that have lived here, like I said, long, a lot longer than me, and we share lots of stories, and I probably talked to a hundred different people or more by in the last five months that I've been here, so I feel like I have a pretty firm uh, evaluation, I guess, like I can give on the topic, and we all pretty much think alike. I've never really spoke to a foreigner that really has had different experiences, honestly. So I think this is, like I said, data for what it's worth is, is, is pretty solid. Um, out of doing, let's say, a hundred different interviews, I think we all have the, kind of the same consensus, is that if you're looking to date and a serious relationship, and of course there's exceptions, right? And we'll talk about that. If you're looking to have a serious relationship, you're probably gonna have better results a better experience, let's call it that dating experience, dating someone that comes from a smaller province than you're going to have, for example, meeting someone over in Cebu City in IT Park. I know that's a big destination. That It was one of the places I considered moving here, and thank God I didn't. I hate that area. Uh, but I know it's a real popular destination that a lot of foreigners end up moving to. So... From, like I said, data that I've gathered from multiple different sources. Oops, sorry. Just kind of walking around here. Those girls, we call it in, in around this area, we call it they know the game or they play the circuit. They're all doing the same things that the foreign guys are doing, right? I talked to so many guys that are on, you know, they're on a dozen different dating apps and, you know, they're playing the field, right? The girls, guess what? They're doing the same exact damn thing you are. And some of us have sat around at, at, at coffee shops and kind of talked, and it, it, it's funny to hear people's stories of, oh, and, they, and I've seen people open up their dating apps. Look, we're talking to the same girls. Literally guys that know each other are chatting with the same girls. And this is a pretty big city in Cebu area, but they, it, it, there's a small pool of foreigners to pull from right so there's a lot of filipinas out there and but there's not a lot of eligible foreigners so guess what they're playing the field just like you guys are and chances are if you meet someone in the city 
she's not talking to one or two foreigners she's probably talking to five foreigners it's really common here actually I see it all the time like in Newtown area to see girls and not prostitutes you'll see girls with different foreigners all the time over in Bahol actually too um, so real common and it's even, it's kind of funny. If you know what you're looking for and you kind of spot the red flags, you can kind of, you can kind of weed some of it out. One of them is on the dating apps, uh, like this pool, for example. It kind of stands out, has a really nice pool area, and it's one of the nicer ones uh, around here, at least in this area. You could see girls on their dating profiles. They have pictures of this pool. And it's kind of funny, the, four, the guys that live here laugh about it. And they'll ask the girl, so have you ever dated a foreigner before? No, I've never dated a foreigner before. Well, there's no way they're living in my building and not here visiting a foreigner or dating a foreigner because I don't mean this in a, in a condescending way, but they, they can't afford to live in this building and they don't live here. So guess what? If they're taking 50 selfies by the pool taking bikini shots and posting them on tinder they were here with a foreigner and good bad and different whatever it is but it's just information do what you want with it but it's a fact um, and a lot of them like i said it's 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 not their first rodeo either guys so just be aware of that and you can ask them sure have you ever dated a foreigner before maybe out of curiosity or, or whatever you know maybe they have or haven't but um if they're taking pictures by these pools at these resorts and uh, fancy condo complexes they were there because they were there with a foreigner and on vacations that's another one exotic locations filipino and philippine filipina girls for the most part don't have the money to be going on extravagant vacations anywhere actually it's really common to talk to girls in cebu or folks in cebu and they've never even left the island of cebu they've never been to Bohol. people that have lived here their entire lives why? Because the ferry ride is 800 pesos each way, and they really just don't have the money to go on vacation. So, if, you, if you're if you talk chatting with a girl and she, oh, these are pictures when I was in Palawan or Boracay and, you know, Manila, guess who was taking her to all those places? Foreign guys. So, just a heads up. The other issue is, and maybe this is good or bad, it's just info. A lot of the folks over in IT Park work at call centers. So the call centers are open at nighttime because that is daytime in America. A lot of those call centers are American uh, businesses. Amazon's a big one and uh, health insurance and banking actually. Oh, there's these giant mega call centers with hundreds and hundreds of employees. And a lot of these girls, that's what they do because they make better money in the call centers. So, but the downside of that, or maybe it's an upside, depending on how you look at it, is they're working midnight shift. So, and they work long hours. They're working, most of them are working 10 hour days and they'll try to work overtime if they can. So my point on that is if you're dating or trying to date one of those girls, just be aware, she's gonna have very little time to actually ever hang out with you. You'll be lucky to see her once or twice a week on her day off. If she gets two days off, chances are she's going to try to pick up an extra shift and she's going to have one day off um, versus someone that's probably in the province is doing, you know, maybe working on a sorry, sorry store, or probably working in the family business, something like that. It's going to have a lot more time. And some people see that as a downside, right? I get it. It's kind of, like I said, depends on what you're looking for, but just something to be aware of. Um, and a lot of the girls in the city, again, not all of them, but a lot of the girls in the city, they're doing the same thing city girls do everywhere, right? They're going out partying, they're going out to the bars, they're going out to the clubs all weekend long and getting foreign guys to buy them drinks and hook up and party and have a good time and share whatever. Um, just like you guys are all wanting to go to bars and meet ladies, etc. They're, they're doing the same thing. Provincial girls, they're not, they just don't seem to have that in them, honestly. They just, um, it's, it's not in their DNA, so to speak, is they are um, very happy just doing day-to-day -day activities and, and very down-to-earth people and I notice it when I travel around because I've traveled pretty extensively and I've driven through a lot of really 
small province areas throughout the whole and they look at you like you're like you're from outer space because they just don't see a lot of foreigners in some of these places so you, you stand out and that might be a good thing like i said if you're looking to date um, over in cebu city or here even in mock town there's so many foreigners and tourists here that um, you don't have that exotic thing about you right because a lot of things that we find appealing about filipino women is they look exotic to us right coming from america and uh, different right in america we're just another american guy in the philippines you're exotic because you're from america you're different etc so my point on that is you're much more likely to get that in the provinces than you are in cebu city or manila for example so i have actually never really talked to anybody since i've been in the philippines that has had a different experience than what i'm talking about generally everyone has the same assessment if you're looking for a serious relationship you're not going to want one of the girls that's um, a city girl or a bar girl i talked about difference in bar girls uh, the other one of my other videos if you haven't watched that go check it out so yeah um, and again there's there's exceptions right my girlfriend grew up just outside of Cebu City and she is has the mindset of a province girl she hates bars she doesn't like to drink very down to earth so just because someone grew up in Cebu City doesn't I wouldn't lump them all into a category right like you can't do that with anybody of course but what I'm saying is like I said general observations over overarching I guess I'd say and um, maybe that's an unfair assessment but that, that kind of seems to be like I said the assessment of probably a hundred different people that I've talked to here that you're much better off much more likely to have a positive dating experience with, with a girl in the province because they have real traditional values too um, one maybe you could you could see it as a potential downside they're real traditional in their families and that's just the way that they are in the philippine culture um, chances are if you date a girl from the province she's going to want you to meet her family relatively quickly because that's just the way they are that's the way they're raised um, we're in the city, not so much. You, you still might get that, of course, right? But it, it's just not not going to be as common because they're a little more, a little more used to the, the the dating world and a little more slightly more westernized. And that would be the other one I would say is, I've seen this here, and I don't like it. Uh, I see in the if you go out, the Philippines, depending on where you go, of course, it's becoming a little westernized, a little Americanized, and not not anything good about that, right? Like, I left America because of all the, the things I don't like about America, honestly. And you're starting to get that, sort of that generation of, you know, social media crazy and all, glued to their phones and just care about Instagram and TikTok and followers and posting live. And you see it sometimes out and you see it more in the city i've never ever ever seen that in the provinces they just that's just not something they even think about they have cell phones of course right and they have internet and all that kind of thing but they just they don't give a crap about social media and instagram and any of that nonsense that that american women seem to really just their their whole world revolves around it but i'm starting to see it or I, I've noticed it, I guess, uh, more in girls in the city. And that 100% turns me off. That is not, that's one of the main reasons I left America is because that culture to me is just kind of grotesque. So, um, yeah, I think you're a lot less likely to get that from uh, dating someone in the province. So, all right, hope that helps. And again, no offense to one or the other. But that's, again, just my observations and observations of lots and lots and lots of people I've talked to. So I hope that helps. And, oh, yeah, I wanted to close up with this. And I'll probably do a whole video on, uh, you know, if I regret moving to the Philippines. It's probably worth diving into that a little bit. Um, if you're thinking about coming here, just just do it. Honestly, I have no regrets. Just the... the the short sum of that is I have no regrets. My only regret is that I didn't do this about two or three years ago. Would have made more sense for me actually to do it a few years ago, and I didn't. 
because I do like everybody does, right? They think about it and think about it and think about it. And then you think about all the bad things that's going to happen. What if I do it? And what if it sucks? And what if I do this and do that? And this just backfires and it's a total train wreck. It's been amazing. It's been a great ride and I'm having a great time and I have zero regrets. I have no intention of ever moving back. Uh, I'll go back to visit, of course, and travel, uh, etc. But this is going to be my home base for as long as I can, I can foresee things. So, yeah, if you're thinking about doing it, that's why I put these videos out. I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm really honest. Um, sometimes I think maybe people look at my videos and think, well, I'm maybe bashing the Philippines or the Filipino people. Not, not at all. But I've watched other YouTube channels, and they make it sound like this place is just one glorious, you know, like you're living in heaven. And that, that obviously is not the case. There's a lot of downsides of living here, like there's a lot of downsides of living anywhere. So I try to be transparent and give you guys the best picture of what it's like to actually physically live here and what your your day-to-day -day life is and what things are like so that's my aim with this and i hope it helps but like i said if you if you're having any second thoughts like i said i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't overthink it too much do your research like everybody does and just make a plan and make it happen so all right guys i hope that helps all right see you guys like and subscribe and I'll start trying to get more videos out to you guys I've been a little slow so my apologies on that just been real busy and been actually traveling a lot I just got to get on the, the video editing and get some of that stuff uploaded all right see you guys